When Jesus entered Judea, he had authority over all lands, all politicians, princes, and kings, yet he chose to ride on a donkey. When Jesus was at the Last Supper, he was called teacher, master, and rabbi, yet he humbled himself by washing the feet of his disciples, even Judas' feet. When Jesus crossed the Kidron Valley, he was walking towards his funeral, yet his funeral empowered us to have life and life more abundantly. When Jesus was at the Garden of Gethsemane, praying, agonizing, asking for God's will, his friends were with him, yet when he needed them the most, his friends were asleep. When Jesus was confronted with swords, he was the Word of God, and his words, I am he, was stronger than any man-made weapons. When Jesus was wrongly sentenced at an illegal Sanhedrin trial, he was the judge of all men. Yet he allowed mere men who hated him, rejected him, and were jealous of him to judge him. When Jesus stood in front of Pilate, Jesus was the creator and the ruler of all the universe. Yet he allowed Pilate, a governor, to rule over him. When Jesus was brutally beaten with whips and fists, he had the option to tap out by calling on his angels, yet he took the blows for our redemption. When Jesus was sentenced to death, Barabbas, a vile criminal, was set free. In fact, Barabbas is you and me. When Jesus carried the cross, all sin of all people of all time was the actual cross. When Jesus was crucified at Calvary, he suffered humiliation, yet his humiliation canceled our condemnation. When Jesus was asked to come off the cross, he could have paralyzed the tongues of those who taunted him. Yet he chose to say, Father, forgive them. When Jesus cried out, it is finished, the sky thundered, the earth shook, and the temple curtain tore, and law turned into grace because of our beautiful Savior. When Jesus lay in a tomb, his earthly body was without breath, Yet he was alive in paradise despite his earthly death. When Jesus rose on the third day, the Roman soldiers fell and were blinded. Heaven's victory shout was sounded. Hell's demons were devastated. Death, lies, and sin were defeated. God's perfect plan of salvation was completed. And for you and me, grace, mercy, and forgiveness was granted.